scale of water. Yeah. Huh. All right. Hey everyone, welcome back to more Rogue Legacy 2. <clears throat> As always, we start with a speedrun, we hope for the best, and then we do some chill games. Three. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I am missing some items. What am I doing? Alright. My apologies, everyone. Let's get Life Sweat open. Let's get No Board open. And let's add No Board. My apologies. All right. There we are. Now we have everything looking clean. All right. And with all these week's discussions, we only got time for Squid Game. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> Three, two, one, go. I can just talk about the college stories I could definitely talk about another day. <clears throat> Felt a little sick when I went to bed last night, so we're hoping that that doesn't remain. Ooh. Ah. Wow, I found the mech. Scholar! And it's a helmet, so no one cares. The only thing I care about is it's out. Hey! Would you guys like to really quickly get the, um, Lamech Percent world record? Yeah, let's just really quickly get the Lamech Percent world record. Or, at least something close. Alright. But yeah, like, the route was a little imperfect, but so slightly it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> like, it's faster to actually walk over to Lamech's room than it is to teleport over. That's how close it is. Go. I wonder how this ends up being in real time, in game time. This, the world record, honestly, is so fast that this is probably not it. But um, it'll be fine. Oh my gosh, that's okay. If we're doing low mech percent, we literally just care that we don't die. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're definitely taking too much damage right now. Ah, uh, just barely missed the room to... Oh my gosh. Taking a lot of needless damage. Well, 
And yes, I do watch the cutscene play. And I don't know when it counts the clipping, so I'm just not going to pause the timer. And however people count it is how it's going to be. Alright, made some stupid mistakes, but like, this... The organization of things were absolutely insane. So that gives us a 332 Lamech percent. Don't know if that's world record, but definitely nice. All right, well, moving forward. I could honestly just kill myself as a way to get myself some upgrades. Like, I don't need the... Yeah, I could honestly just kill myself and end up with a positive route. So I'm gonna take risks here. A needless risk. Like so, all right, that's fine. Like, we got so much out of that, and we explored so little. Alright. Well, one has Amaterasu's son. The other has a bunch of money. I'm actually gonna go for money. Amaterasu's son is great, but, like, money, guys. Like, vegan is a lot of money. And we're not too dependent on that. I mean, I get to clip out the first part to be a mech percent, basically. And now, yeah, look. Plus 75% gold. Oh, that's all it takes for him. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm basically the starting character with more gold and... Oh. Well, I think that's my last relic, unfortunately. And no stew is not worth the while, especially with vegan. Ooh. But yeah, killing these guys also gives me experience to increase my equip weight for when I need that. Which, I mean, already it's it's going to increase my resolve, having higher equip weight. I'm just going to do that. Don't actually need to kill the boss guy, but good to do it anyways. Get myself some extra gold. We have an heirloom at the... If I had more resolve. Ooh. There's a Lamech percent speed run 50 seconds faster? Good to know. Good to know. Yep. As I was making the mistakes, it became pretty clear that that probably wasn't world record. But... I was trying for it anyways. I was, I'm not. I'm not too adamant. Obviously, 242. Wow. Yep. It just. It looked like a good run. So. Like with its positioning. All right. I have vegan, so I cannot pick up that meat. All right. There's the teleport that I want. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Um. I can't I can't pronounce your name. I apologize. Agilebel. The run had gigantism with a worse damaging spell. Oh well, Windwall allows you to leverage um, damage elsewhere, so it's not really the worst damaging spell. Uh.
I think I'm gonna leverage this health for a bit. So... Yeah. Let's leverage this health first. And then we'll go get ourselves our life back. So let's see if I can leverage this properly. There we are. So yeah, for anyone who didn't know, you can enter here early. Find ourselves these teleports now. Alright, done leveraging my health. That's all I wanted. I now have an apple. I now have a teleport to Murmur. And I have a ton of extra max health. Hyperion's Reen plus 276 max health. That's pretty uncommon. Ooh. We're planning to grab the lilies with this character, so we don't want to spend much more additional resolve if we can help it. Hey, there we are. Whew. But yeah, gigantism, just exploiting the fact that um, gigantism and hollow bones allow you to open up the door prematurely, and I still have to go through the door. Okay. And yeah, I made a few imperfections, which, with a speedrun that's that tight, gonna add up really heavily. Because 50 seconds of that speed run is a lot of time. Oh, we still had one more. That two-ball fight is the worst fight for underleveled characters, as his minions require a lot of hits. Yep, yep. So if you haven't been watching, um, the addition of two-ball into the game has, like, tripled the time for this speedrun so far. Because it's just, we're still figuring out how to beat two-ball with us being at lower levels. And it's just, it's exceptionally difficult of a boss. So it's, it's terrifying, honestly. All right. Scholar chest. So we got all the scholar items that we have absolutely zero interest in. I say while wearing the scholar helm. Alright, that's a fairy chest. Oh my god. That was just a failure on my part. 100%. Literally just had to jump to cancel out of that. Oof. Well, we're at 200 max health, which is... A lot of projectiles right now. A lot more than I'm used to. Alright. Yep, this is the faster direction for that to be for us. Another fairy chest. He'll most likely be tweaked somehow. So guess what? We actually know how he's getting tweaked. He's getting buffed. Because for higher levels, he's actually exceptionally weak. So, two balls actually getting buffed right now. Um, Now, he's getting buffed in a cool way. He's getting buffed where they're adding armor to him. Instead of... um. So, like, the armored trait that, like, elites can have... They added that to his minions to make sure it takes more hits to kill the minions, but does not. it does not really affect us speedrunners, because armor, you know, one hit is one hit, absent of how much damage it does. So, fortunately, we are, they're actually buffing it in a way that might make it have no effect for us um, speedrunners, if not even make it slightly easier, depending on how they're balancing health with it. So... All right. There we go, weapon. Finally. You know, this is the character that pro... Never mind. I was going to say, this is the character that probably wants more money than other resources. But... 
Like, I literally got the two items. The only one that's, like, better that I could be finding in this area is the warden weapon. That's it. Alright, gotta be careful. Because remember, meat hurts me. That's why I'm getting all that extra gold gain. Thank goodness you hit it at the ground. Alright. Oof. No! That was the worst of possibilities with that treasure chest. Ah. Uh, Alright, we're going for this one. Don't want to reduce my max health because my Hyperion's reign is le leverages my max health well. I was looking for an apple, in case anyone was wondering. Alright, not a perfect block, but a block nonetheless. Alright, we could survive two hits. Um, after we beat this... You know, I think I'm probably just going to grab Book at, um, after I beat the Void Beasts, if it goes south. Just make sure I get to um, Nama properly. Because I want to kill Nama with his character, get the massive gold gain. So... Oh my gosh. Mispressed the button, and it nearly cost me everything. Or at least a health bar. A point of health. Cost me a hit, which is quite expensive in a speedrun. Or can be, at least. So just so the minions have some fixed HP for any new game, the damage depends on weapons damage multiplier. Um, the problem, as far as I can tell, is just the initial game, not new game pluses. Or I say new game plus zero. I don't, I don't really know. Um, I would prefer two ball summon unique mobs rather than ones already in the game. I mean, the whole idea is that two ball sum is the one who created all those automatons, so it makes sense they summon them. Um. The effect's also new game plus zero. Um, so, like, if they have a fixed health, then it has to be a high fixed health, which I don't... Literally, like, noted... Wait, I can't pick that up as I was running to pick it up. Just instincts took over instead of my wisdom in the situation. You have to damage boost to get that lily. And yes, that lily is worth it to get now. I might lose my Hyperion's Reign, but I have a Hyperion's Reign. Get rid of the shield? I thought I thought it would be I would actually prefer they increase the shield and reduce the max health. Um The shield is more to make sure it's still intimidating for characters that like overleveled their strength. 
No, I love the shield. I love the shield. I don't like the, um, the health plus the shield, basically. It's a combination of both that's the issue. And with barely any health remaining, we made it. The snow trails... Oh, get rid of the shield enemy, not the shield buff. Okay, yes, yes. They did create the shield enemy, but, like, the shield... Yeah. The zero knockback when the shield's moving around, the snow trails that, like, last too long... Like, that even when you slice at them, they don't break. Like, you actually have to kick off of them. And so many of those projectiles. Yeah. I could see it, that being a correct route. But that really just says that the shield enemy itself is... Like, there's something wrong with the enemy itself, then. In that fight. Yeah. Because, yeah, if you don't- if he doesn't summon the shield enemy, it becomes a lot safer of a battle. Because you don't have to worry about... That thing just doing its charge bash with no um, way to knock back, with no knockback. Like, it's the no knockback on the shield that's just so severe. Oh, if you look at the background, there's daggers and hammers and axes, but no shields. Huh. Interesting. I mean, it's assumed that he makes all four, but... Huh. At least that'd be assumed that he makes all four. Don't need the chest right now. Alright, so Namak could be straight down. And get a lily along the way. Alright. Oh my gosh, that that was awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's get our gold. Okay. Well, we were facing the wrong direction. But now we're not. I spawned inside of it. Or it spawned as I was there. I need to, like, de-gunk my keyboard, I think. Like, there's a lot of times where it's like I press a button. It seems like it doesn't press properly. But it feels like 
feels like it's a keyboard theme, like my hand's not pressing properly, not that the game's not recognizing inputs. Time to get an influx of money, everyone. Awesome. Now. This is just to a treasure chest. Might as well grab the chest, but faster to return to main, faster and safer to return to main menu because that's all dead ends there. Uh, unfortunate. Oh, there's still one up. Okay, got it. But either way, start here basically. The double Hyperion's ring would take 90 resolve, so it'd literally be um, revive two additional revives and die in a single hit, no matter where I'm at. So I decided to decline. The other one increases meat healing, and since meat kills me, it actively does nothing for me. I think it actually increases the damage I take from meat. All right. Well. I got the chest at least. And yes, I, the fact that I was going right tells you that I was looking for this, specifically. Alright, so let's see. I'm just like trying to mentally think. Um, I think I have the entire Scholar set other than Scholar Trinket. Which, I mean, it's not like I want the Scholar Unity, it's just... Good to know what equipment I have. Oh my gosh. And that meat lantern, gotta remember, I usually I would just go, okay, we'll just drop down, grab the meat lantern, and then go back. But meat lantern hurts me. Okay. I think there's kind of a limit on how much gold is useful. Um, yeah, I think... I mean, obviously there's a point where you... I mean, if you ever get to a million gold, like, it's going to have an effect. It's going to make you much stronger. But I do recognize what you're saying, that there's, like... There's a certain point where 
getting gold doesn't really help you too much. Like, you have to get a lot more gold to get a lot less of a benefit. So I could definitely see that there's a certain point where you've gotten enough gold. Like... Okay. Because this is right next to the other apple... I kind of want to. But it just reduces my resolve so significantly, and we already have... Yeah. We already have um, a spell that causes fire damage. That's okay. to be a little safe. Did they switch I didn't notice? They must have. If you don't find an expensive item, the amount is probably a bit lower than you think. Yep. Definitely. I only have Crescent right now. I mean, I only have Scholar items right now. So, I definitely agree that there's only so much that gold can do. Alright. I just realized it's actually profitable for me to stop for the chests. So, I'm going to stop for the chests in this fight. Because the reason I'm saying it's profitable is because, remember, you get more money from opening chests, but you also get the equipment sets that you need, which... You open chests to get the money to buy the equipment that you got from chests. I should have just shield bash there. Oh well. There we go. So we have not found an expensive item. So I need to go, just because of position, position. I need to go over to where um, Gone Heads are, head right, and try to find Enoch. Hopefully before I lose my Hyperion's ring.
I'd really like it if that projectile just vanished. Alright. Wait, is that a... Yeah, literally right here. Yeah, I need to grab a few chests to just give myself that opportunity at an item. Oh. There's Enoch. Does the Soul Shop upgrade allow you to just get plus one items, or does it matter for regular equipment? Um, the Soul Shop upgrade only gives you um, plus one items. You can get all the regular equipment without any Soul Shop upgrades. That's at least my understanding. Like, I have no reason why, no reason to believe it, that changes, because it is, um, the Soul Shop upgrade is necessary to get the plus X, so, see no reason to believe that's anything more than the plus X. Like, as far as I could tell, you could get the kin set without ever, um, grabbing that, but then you can never, you know, you can never grab anything, even leather set plus one. So it looks like, unfortunately, we're going to have to get that equipment on our way up um, the tower, because we did not get it on our way through this thinking study, and we do need to get a weapon. Um, you did get a warm weapon plus one in one of your runs? Hmm, so you must have spent the souls early. Yeah, I don't... Either it's a glitch, or you spent the souls early and didn't realize it. Who knows? But as per the description, you were you should have been unable to get that until you spent on the soul shop upgrade. Unless, as I said, unless something weird's going on. And it's not following the rules as expected. So you did spend the souls. Okay. So no issues there. How's it going, Destiny Bound? Doing a pretty darn decent run, and I'm just focusing on keeping it darn decent. get the use the shield as a damage boost. Right, we have enough for another damage boost. There we go. Whew. Alright. Yep, so we're just doing our speed run. Right now things are going fine. Um, these are actually going really good right now, but it's one of those things of we do not have, um, 
any equipment beyond Scholar, which can end up being drastically troublesome when we get to the final area. Because, like, last time we did not as well as I want to be doing, but we had to leverage... Um, Nonetheless, we still leveraged our um, drowned weapon that we found, so we want another drowned weapon or equivalent. Like, just a good weapon that you don't get in the first few areas. So we're basically, we're hoping on hope for the last, for the treasure chests as we climb up the tower. Because that's where we are in the run right now. Shiny hat versus big box. Yep. We actually have the scholar hat, so it's actually a special shiny hat. You're correct there. Um, but yeah. I'm doing alright. Just finished um, all the special worlds as Rosa Lena and Mario 3D World to get the stamp of the... So you got your 100% completion. Dude, awesome. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear you're doing good. Alright. Well, we have a tower. So... What happened with this run is we got a vegan as our second life, and we've just been trying to leverage the extra gold gain of the vegan. Great. That was... Are you kidding? Ah. Unfortunate. We're gonna try this room. Nope. Have to go all the way up. Oh, this is all the way up. Okay. And all damage we take is permanent at this point. Because we can't grab meat. We have no more heirlooms. So unless we find an apple specifically, like, we're not getting any more health. For this life. Keeps going, right? Oh, all the way to the top. I'm going to use this to reset. Alright, two chests. Two tries at a better item. Nope. Alright. Well, the machine returns coming on up. I mean, we can win this fight. We'll be in a good spot to, um, go into the darkness to try to get some good equipment. They're giving me easy routines right now. Like, that was the hardest routine right there that's given me today. Or with this run.
Okay. We still even have Hyperion's Reign. Though I don't think that Hyperion's Reign is going to be meaning much. Alright. I've only got seven levels left to go as Toad to get the stamp in all three special worlds as Peach before 100% five star profile. Nice. Um, realize you didn't bar. They're getting the bonus damage? Not this time. No, I didn't have enough. Um mana for to pop it open and I just didn't yeah I also didn't care enough um, I'm going to assume if they make a prime boss fight version of Irad they're gonna add an extra eye and slightly bigger room to compensate for it maybe um, also entirely possible that the eyes rotate positions that could be pretty messed up well we have all our gold we just need an equipment that we can purchase now. Eyes rad. Yep. Alright. Let's see how much we can do down here on one life. That helps. You know what? storage room. Alright. Now that I'm in the storage room, might as well grab it. No point in the meat lantern. I have vegan. Like... Yes, our resolve's gonna plummet after picking this up. But it's needed.
Awesome. That's one door open. It's a path to my left and a path to my right. All right, here's the onyx key. Let's go for it. Use iframes, use iframes. So there's no iframes on that one. Good to know. Because, yeah, I would have had iframes if, um, like, that is such a short phrase that, like, if I had iframes, I'd get iframes there. Alright. Like, there was just so little space. If iframes were available, I'd have had them. Well, look at that. Both portals opened. I meant to drop under, but I have down and I spin kicked when I should have just dropped. Alright, anyways. How's it going, sweet kid? How's it going? We've been doing this tough boss fight for some time, and we're just hoping that things go well. We have a ton of gold, though, so that helps, but you have never been as tired as this week. Oof. Hope things start feeling better soon, then. Alright, we are not heavy, but that's okay. I'm getting one equip weight up. Oh, I need to be at a higher level. Well, that shouldn't be hard. There we go. Now we have high unity. By unbreakable will, just as a possibility. All right. How's the run going today? Got a lot of gold and no equipment, and like not enough equipment to show for it. So, like, as you can see, me at level 41, but. Like, I still only have the Scholar set. Um, that being said, it's only 52, we're 52 minutes in, and we've unlocked both of the um, mini-bosses, so we just have the mini-bosses plus two ball. So, going not bad. Let's go with that as a statement. It's going not bad. Yeah, 66 um, damage on an attack, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm. Alright, one to the left. Oof. Not seen this area before? It's the new area, and it's what's causing these runs to take a long, a lot of work.
But yeah, so this is a mini boss that I have to beat in order to unlock the actual boss of this area. Oh. make any more mistakes and then proceed to immediately make a mistake there we go awesome all right that's one down that makes this other one much easier but doesn't mean that I can't make a mistake so be cautious but be at peace so yeah I'm just gonna give this one a bit some distance Remember I said I just need to make, not make a stupid mistake? Cartographer. Um, no. I'm going to go with this one. And since we're not getting money off this anyways, I'm going to lock down with Architect. We're going to kill this boss. And then from this boss, we're going to get our stuff. Um, final boss... Um, is the game out now, or is it still in beta? Still in beta, final boss is not out yet, which is Ace Law, just said. Um, is there approximate on when it's going to be fully released? Yep. It, um, Ace Law's answering all the questions, yeah. In a few months... Um, I'm still doing these with Ranger, though. Um... Oh, you have analog controller as well, and you're still doing this with rangers? That's good to know. That is good to know. Ugh. enough mana. Oh boy. This high jump's actually pretty nice in avoiding the um Oh no. I was too busy avoiding those projectiles. I didn't even see that the shield was charging up. Oh no! Get out, get out. We're in the same spot as last time. No, we're in a worse spot. This time, don't use a stupid spell that holds you in place. There we are. Okay. Skull of Unity Bonus is just plus focus. Um, not really coming up much, but good to have. 
Um, I'm surprised there's an entire do mode where it makes you do all mini bosses of bosses back to back with choices of upgrades. Um. Oh, I never hit the bell. Just potions, no. Ugh. Alright, this life's bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the chests. Look for some gold. And then retire when I don't find it. Because those are all too far away for me to be hunting for right now. Or maybe I could just prove myself wrong as I just don't die as I'm hitting. storage room. All this really is is a guaranteed meat lantern. So of all these little dots, one of them is the mini boss room that I need to still find. This is it. Gotta be extra careful. Yeah, of the two. This is the easier of them. Doesn't mean it's easy. Oh my gosh. Well. Let's get out. I have enough mana to cast it again, so. You have two attacks, by the way, Mr. Sort, Mr. Daggerman. I really appreciate if you showed us the other attack every once in a while. That's okay. Did enough. There we are. The fabled dagger that dashes three times. Yes, yes. All right. Oof. Yep, so as you can see, the chill in the axe fight is harder because that I only got hit once. It was the first time facing it. Like, I don't know. Something with that fight clicked for me very early on. All 
All right, it's just over there to our right. Yeah, I don't think this is the person who's gonna kill Irad, but it's nonetheless a really good body. All right. Well, we are now at the point of the run where we just bash our head into this boss until finally one of us falls over dead. Often us. Very often it's us. down. Now we have the Thousand Daggers just in time for our next wave of enemies. Well, there's no shields, so we're actually able to just leave these be for much longer than perhaps would be expected. Ah. Uh, both those fights were just a hand holding a weapon. I wonder what happened to the rest. So the whole idea is that he's the Hecatonchiers. He's dropping off his own body parts to be the weapon. All right, we have no intelligence. We're gonna use what little gold we have to correct that. Congratulations, we have one intelligence buff. Let us go. Begin our journey into the slaughter. So the whole idea is he's the Hecaton Cheers, which is, um, if you don't know the lore, the Hecaton Cheers is a 100-handed giant that back in Greek mythology, so. Where are all his hands? Well, they're all... He, all those little enemies are his hands. Like you'll say, Hecatonctures. So all these little hands in the background and stuff? That's the... Hands. This guy created them all. Whether or not... He technically had a hundred hands before he created them, or whether it's just a title that was given to him. We don't know. But... I don't think it matters. Ah. Oh my god, I have to deal with more. And it's another shield. Oh. You're summing them too fast! Well, I got myself enough health, I survived three hits instead of two. Because I bounced off of not kicking, I didn't reset my dash, and I was not... 
My fault. That's what I need to say. Alright. Shockwave's not really the spell I want, but we our unity actually gives us plus focus, and Shockwave always gets crits, so that might just be good enough. Um, I wish all the hand-type enemies just vanished when you beat this guy. That would have been great. That would have been great. Well, he definitely has more story than just being a blacksmith. Definitely. Um, there's so many hand really puns you can do. Definitely gone up to someone. And then went, you need a hand? Or how about a couple hundred? Uh, well, we try our best. Full on scholar leave. Thanks, double shield. You can generally judge how well it's gonna go by how many times shields get summoned. If it's never, if you have a life that doesn't get shields, it's probably going to go pretty well. But shields are just, they're a hassle to deal with when you're dealing with everything else that this boss has thrown at you. So like, he summoned two shields, we took two hits. This is not a coincidence. I mean, it is a coincidence but it has very high correlation, enough to consider causation. Uh. It's definitely gone up to someone. Oh, all right, I read that one. Okay. Hypercoag Barbarian. This is Hyper Tank. Shields are like Wave Beam Pirates in, Omega Pi in the Omega Pirate fight. Um. Oh, are you saying about the ones where you have to wait for them to make a specific attack for you to counter? Um, over in... Because um, if that's the case, then yeah, I get that. And... Kind of close. Now we just need to summon Shielded Wargs. <laughs> Oh, that would be a nightmare. But yeah, even while they're shielded, they still get knocked back. Shields. Yeah, usually you have to jump over him, but in that one specific attack, you don't jump over him. You jump under. Oh, right, I have Hyper Coag. Yeah, I'm getting... So I'm, like, good. As long as I don't do anything horribly ridiculous, I'm good. Oh, when I'm summoned two shields, that's, a, that's, like, something horribly ridiculous. Not that... I had control over it, but... Well, like I said, he summoned two shields. <laughs> uh. Once again, I can link this fight to Hollow Knight. He's got minions like Venge 
of vent fly clean, the stature of false knight, and homing balls of Galien plus the basic. Yeah, so it's Galien with additional bo bosses at the same time. Uh, I wouldn't compare it to the minions of vent fly clean, because while they. Or. Because while the vent eyes do fly around, the vent flies, even at like the lowest level, die in 2 to 3 hits. This is at the highest level, die in 3 hits. Uh. Oh god. Sure, we'll try the Valkyrie. Imagine the obble obble fight, but every split ball just spawned a regular obble that would probably crash the game and cause chaos as well. I don't know, I... I feel like we're stretching. Like, bosses can be distinct. We don't need to compare it to other bosses to understand it's difficult. Weird that the boss health bar is divided into three parts and two ball doesn't split exactly on them. Yep. That is one of the weirdness is that they actually have like those little visual notches, but it's not on those notches when the next split occurs. Alright. So we have just enough intelligence to be pulling that off, which is great. There's both the hits I'm allowed to take. Uh, I mean, I... 
I would more or less compare them to the founder of RL Rogue Legacy 1. At least the thunder, dropping swords, and danger at the walls are themes they both have. I would say the danger at the walls is very different, at the very least. Um, I only just noticed the notches on the health bar. Um, gosh. Ah, I see. Suffering for flying ragey that... Uh. Is... So, let's see. Compare it to the fountain in RL1. I feel like the ads are just, like, such a significant feature. Because there's four possibilities of ads. It just, like... Well, the ram daggers are a theme. Um... With the Rogue Legacy 1 boss, the daggers were all, um, it was the attack. There was nothing else added to the attack. Just, it was just when you're dealing with the daggers, you're dealing with just the daggers. You just need to die. Yeah, that was a bad start. That's gonna... <sighs> Spawns make it real different than anything I've seen before. Yeah, basically. I do like Knight in this fight. But we've now proven that... If you have enough health where the Valkyrie can take two hits, the Valkyrie actually has a spot in this fight as well. Hmm. Alright. Like I said, we're just trying to get sub two hours right now because consistency be darned. I don't know, how did the dragon swallow this guy in my f the first place? So even worse, it seems like this guy forced himself into the dragon's maw. Which asks even more questions. Because, did he force him in with those chains on him? Or did... Like, he needed to put the chains on after, and yet... Oh, you can't even kick off of those! I thought you can... I thought you can echo kick off of those! Okay! The shields are garbage! The shields are horrible! I thought you could kick off of those! All right, like we knew the sh I knew the shields were bad news. Yep, I think someone said it right. Just remove the shields from this fight, and it becomes okay. Cause yeah, the no knockback on shields plus everything else. I tried to kick off the snow particles, the things that killed me. Because I thought I kicked off of it prior. Like, I think the, um... Like, the fight against the actual shield itself, like the mini-boss, you can actually kick off those, so it's... Surprising that you can't do that with the, um... The actual enemies themselves. Well, Lotus then blocked. Come on. Just try and kill that guy. Nearly dropped the lightning and we've got myself ruined. Alright. Well, at least I blocked it. Oh! The hitbox is smaller than I thought when he does that. Good to know. Alright. Note yourself. Start using Shield Bash more proactively. Uh. 
Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's just like several small things. Like they're literally the shields from one shields were first added, and shields used to like make or break runs back in the um that room with a bunch of shields to get the double jump. That used to make or break runs for me because that's they're acting the way they used to act back then, and it was not okay then. It's not okay now. Yeah. I don't care if it's small knockback, but there needs to be knockback. There needs to be something so the shield doesn't just walk into you when you're doing your spinning axe attack. They don't just... You don't just run into them every time. Like... There we are. Awesome. Definitely good that we got that kill before this uh, add-ons were added. Oh no, double shields. Alright, so the goal is to have enough damage output that I could uh, split him again before the next wave. Well. That was not the case. Whoa, he was that close to splitting. Not how I want to use my shield, but at least it blocked damage. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're going to see all five stages of grief during this fight from how many attempts it takes. Uh, why well, doing panic attack? I am not doing panic attacks. So, is it min level for box movement like forty? Maybe that. Maybe that's viable thing to do. I mean, I only got like I would not even get to level forty two. Um. So first off, is the does boxer help with this fight? I mean, the KO stacks. Then you just do your punch. Yeah, you knock off the armor and then you punch, throwing them all together where they explode. Could be a possibility, though keep in mind, we got all of this gold because we had a vegan for almost every boss. And we, um, and because we didn't have any equipment beyond the normal, um, any major equipment to purchase. Like, we had all the basics. Like, we had every basic, but... Every equipment we had was of the basic sets. I ran into his shoulder. There we go. This always crits, so the damage should be significant enough. Hopefully. Enemies knock you far away. I mean, when I get hit... I mean, hit stun anyways, so it's like. Mm. But yeah. Alright. Oh! 
Oh, right. They only... They have armor now. I actually stopped damage. Nice. I mean, it's... I use my shield, but... It's fine. Misreading hitboxes today, it seems. Just off my game, I guess. I think I miss space my shield block. Oh, die next it. Just need to kill him before the next split, so. Yep, didn't really care about. I always think I'm clo I can get closer than I actually can with that attack. Yeah, with how low my intelligence is compared to my strength. Like, even with all the scholar set. I think just with how low my intelligence is compared to my strength, I have to go with Barbarian and um, Knight whenever possible. The Streamcatcher does zippity, but that's okay. It doesn't reduce our resolve below 100, so I accept you, Dreamcatcher. All right. And he's even facing the correct way for me. I can get closer than I actually can. I'm getting horribly punished for it. Alright. Okay. Bunker reduces my health, and if he gets a significant margin of minus one hit, I can take. But it's at least a playable character. 
How exactly do cartwheel spin kicks work? Or um, the barbarian cartwheel skill crits work? It's just dash attacks. Um, as long as you're dashing while in the air, it's a skill crit. See? Whenever, when it's turning yellow while I'm dashing through the air, um, that's the skill crits. So like not skill crit because I need to just stand there, but if I'm ever dashing overhead, you'll see it's skill crit. Okay. That's okay. Classic. Yep. Hypercoag. This one lacks the spell to apply damage, but we have 350 health on hypercoag. Like, I think that allows me to take quite a few hits. Oh, you thought it was gonna be, um, like every five hits or something? That's how... Yeah, no, they try to make it so that it's not, um... They try to make it as non-random as possible. So it's always some... Skill crits are always something that are skillful. Um, keeping a spell on for extended period of time. Uh, this Magic 8 Ball. It has to bounce once to octuple damage. It has to bounce twice to skill crit. So if that hits, that would skill crit. Defensively. Awesome. I worked out. That strategy worked out wonderfully of just basically focus the boss wall. Again, keep the Genkin Echo kick off of that. You can't. You should. Alright. Well, if I don't kill those two... I don't think they spawn anymore as long as there's two. I believe that's what um, what Mindful Line found.
Just damage boosting through the end there. Okay. Well. Good riddance. Basically. Sub 140. Moving forward. Moving forward. Every little step is 20 minutes. Uh. You know, I don't even want to know what the prime version of that fight would look like. Yeah. Uh. I'm intrigued, but when I get the prime version, I'm going to be at level 592, so I'm going to feel a little better about it. Uh. 133.04. We're constantly moving faster. We're getting more consistent with 2-Ball, despite 2-Ball still being inconsistent. Always good. 2-Ball summons the mini-bosses instead of the tier 2 enemies. I believe it. I'd believe it. Uh. Oh, my. Alright. Well, we finished the speedrun portion of this. And now we get chill. Which actually... Hold up. There we are. Much more cleaner visuals. Oof. Alright, so we have... Our full set. Basically. Um, so it's Leviathan Weapon and Cape. And then it's the helm, chest, and trinket of the kin. So... The combination gives us a bunch of raw power. Alright. So who do I need to fight still? Ooh, boy. I have to get past the Kirkwellum... I need to get all the way to the Kirkwellum Plateau. Do I have a teleport? There we are. Just chilling, getting to play the game. More of a calm atmosphere instead of the aggressive, rough fight. Did you add the bun press thing at the bottom of the screen? Um, what button press thingy? Oh my gosh. I'm not used to Boxer, but kind of seems like he might be good versus two ball. We could definitely, that is definitely something we can try. Um. I also don't have the most experience against Boxer, but, like, I'm always willing to try. our one shot one kill but we need the mana to keep it good all right all right and out of here we get The bun plus, see, um, so yeah, I um, there's a little thing called chroma key that I use. I've had, I've been, I use it on my speed runs all the time now. It's just sometimes I forget to put it on because it's it's an additional um, it's an additional client, it's an additional um, 
basically page I need to open up for it. So sometimes I forget to open the page. Well, we already lost our revival. We got a treasure chest in the process, but we lost our revival. And that's expensive. You know what? I think I like that talent. Over freeze? Just destroy all projectiles? I think that's actually a positive. And this is gonna be taking up all of our mana anyways, so... Full health. Ooh, nearly one shot. You just left the last room, I see. Would have fought you if you showed up. Alright. have a long cooldown. single crit, even with my lowered focus. For the white dwarf, the skill's just hitting with with it all, huh? Yep. I mean, it's an auto crit. It, like, it's built to hit with it all. That's its job. Too much meat on the rooms that don't need it. Uh, oh well. in and then escape myself. Did not work as intended. Oh, hit that one too. Sick.
Let's try to get that take care of before I have to backtrack to it, so. Whew. star tied to a mage with a leviathan weapon and leviathan cape I literally thought I was just gold walking towards me. I did not realize it was an actual enemy. Wow. walking towards me. You can spend a bit too much time inhaling dra dragon stomach and black smoke fumes at the same time. Yeah, well, it's not. It's kind of part of the job description, so. That was beautiful. I don't know if there's any upgrades still left. Like, I haven't upgraded everything fully, but I can't think of anything I might not have plus four in. Alright. Remember, I get full heal when I enter that fight, so I want to actually leverage my health right now and then pull back later. Well, that leverages my resolve. Oof. Well, this is where I'm leveraging my health.
Ooh. Yeah. Two shield enemies. Now nah, we're good. All right. Ah. <sighs> Now we go murder this person. We have war drums with lilies, Amaterasu's son. We could deal some amazing raw damage thanks to this. Um, I say as the raw damage is barely visible. Oh, I thought I could take that would take those. I was wrong and severely punished for it. Yeah, it could do those, but not the lanterns apparently. Okay, so it doesn't get the... Well, we learned a lot whether or not we died horribly. We learned a lot whether or not um, we died horribly. The Ma's place looks nice now. It does. It does. The Ma really put herself together after our last fight. Alright. Well, with one health... Hmm. Where do I want to go, then? I think I want to get these free relics in this area first. That's where I want to go first. Well, great start. Great start, truly. I thought it was dead. Ah, uh, do we go the old bag of spoons? Yeah, let's go with the ye old bag of spoons, chef. Clear up Nama, make everything easy on me. The fact that I still have the money for that after how quickly that ended is baffling. Uh, I just had two balls spawn nothing for his whole first phase. That's happens, but yeah, lucky man. You know what? With this chef... I think we just ignore Nama and go straight for Tubal. Like. So, fun fact, they've nerfed this ladle. I still stand by this ladle is going to be insane, especially now that we've improved our equipment. We now have Leviathan set. And we have Kin and Leviathan set. So, we didn't have that before. Alright. We have a meat lantern when we want it. It is always one guaranteed meat lantern in there. Yep, so now it takes two hits because they nerfed it. Which you know. What a nerf to this weapon. That being said, fiends here are dangerous compared to what I'm used to. There we 
here. Wow. Okay, so I can just one-shot most things still. Just... Goes on the fire delay instead of the spore burst delay. Well, a lot of enemies. Let me just say that. Yeah, that just felt like I got swarmed. Like, I'm pretty sure that knife fell completely off stage. Or off screen. Like, if someone could um, prove that, like, that knife was visible, I'd be happy to admit I am wrong. But, like, I don't see how you see, it, how you see that knife before it came on screen. So we have Onyx Key. Oh, those are these are gonna be a little tough to deal with. A little tough. They're out maneuvering me at every turn. Darn bubbly fish. My greatest enemy. Well, good to know. Alright, FMF fan, get some free money, possibly get some strength buffs. All that. We are still at heavyweight. I'm not sure if all the um, equipment increases will actually get me out of heavyweight. By the way, I don't think I ever talked to that. It's, Marana, I wish I had a straw hat. Runs are all about spacing. Make the most of your massive range and turn enemies to bite-sized portions from afar. Sure, you can still hit foes that are close to you. What's the fun in that? Alright. Do we have... Yeah, we definitely have more equip weight. And there was a rune that I think I still needed. Red rune. Got it. Increase for red rune. That is my next next task. Alright. Oof. Figuring it all out, little by little. Alright. Let's try to face them all with this guy. See how he fares with... So this is a strength-based character, and I did not equip the kin set. I kept my intelligence-based stuff, so I'm not sure how this is going to fare. That was not the knockback I expected from you, Spear Maiden. Alright. We're slowly approaching having every rune. So teach me about your cool hat. So there once was this amazing powerful person named Raiden. And ever since he wore it, everyone else started wearing it. Because it's cool. And it makes you look like Raiden. But other than that, that is the story of the amazingly cool hat. It was cool. 
and someone wore it. And so the rest of us started wearing it to look cool like he did. Hmm. Beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's also very efficient. You know, sometimes looking cool, you need to buy like the high level jeans and stuff. This is just literally straw. This cool fashion sense just literally involves straw. Like, who can't afford a straw? I don't know how they make it off of a single straw that you put in a cup and such, but they do. After all, it is a straw hat for a reason. But hmm. I am not an expert artisan. I just know what looks cool. Ah. Well, sorry, but this sword is actually a leash for you. Yeah, if you have gigantism, it literally goes all the way across screen. Like, I'm pretty sure you have to, to get your crit, actually hit the person before they appear on screen. Or something like that. Ooh. There'd be zombies below. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Just too interested in killing the undead. Alright, there we are. I know this room. Wow, I can't believe I made a mistake like that. I literally talked about how I know this room. Ugh. I don't have to approach. Like, this is a ranged weapon by all means. This is the archer for people who don't like the cardinal direction issue. Ooh, I'll be going now. Have fun with New Game Plus Night. Thank you for staying around for the time, Mindful Line. I appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Have fun while you're gone. We have Amaterasu's son. Lose no health. Ah, oh, this one. Alright. I never use the teleport anyways. Just applying burn with this. Knowing that if my strength fails, my intelligence takes the rest of the job for me.
Alright. Yeah, I, I do like this. So they chose the Ronin as the name for the class instead of Shinobi, like the previous game. Um, in the previous game, they had a character like this, and their name was Shinobi or Hokage for the upgraded version. I do like Ronin. It feels more like not lost in time. Lost in... Like... It feels of the culture and not lost to... What's it called? Naruto? Yeah. It's Naruto. I nearly mixed up with Bleach. And I'm sure I would have offended a lot of people if I make that mistake. I, like I watched some Dragon Ball and stuff like that. Like I do I do watch anime, but like the Shonen before My Hero Academia I really didn't spend much time on those stuff. Room's empty. Uh. Oh well. Okay. Seinfeld room. Hmm, yes. All those important shows and references that I have failed to know about. Ah, failure. Oh my god. Hey, thank you. It's a room about nothing! It's just a room! But the room has to have a purpose. Oh, the purpose is to be nothing. I have no idea how that, how the theme would actually go. I'm just taking a leap of faith. Resolve item we get. I do like the little text. Be generous to others, you got more than you know. But. I'm wondering if that increases my healing from um, the stews, because it's based directly off of it. Also, I'm just going in because I'm getting tired of having to search around when I could just start the fight now. Really... 
really misplaced my health, if that's how quickly I died. Yeah, that wasn't good. I started drinking while the effect triggered. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble on this fight. Get out. hits I'm out allowing myself to take. Yeah, I just made so many mistakes during this fight. And of course, when you make too many mistakes, you get punished accordingly. Oh no, I split them up. Each of them borrowed a little from the other's area. Like, Nama has these traps and platforms, um, and Enoch has those chasers during his mm. chase attack, ironically enough. Well, despite all my horrible mistakes, I managed to fix it in the end. Alright. So Mr. 36th Chamber of Shaolin can't slice upwards, can he? Um... I mean, you could slice diagonally upwards, but straight up, no, this is not Sephiroth, this is not most Smash Brothers characters. There's a reason he did not make into Smash Bros. He simply lacked the toolkit. Oh my gosh. Pizza just fully healing me.
Oh my gosh, I just realized. The... The pizza room probably has increased lore because two balls been added to the game. So it probably has two balls favorite type of pizza. Dude, this is important lore. How did I not think of this? Next time we get a dwarf, you need to remind me. I must go see what is two balls favorite pizza. Uh. Cause this is actual lore that exists and you can only access it as a dwarf. It's the one item that they chose to keep where you need to be a dwarf to get access. So... Alright, well we're at full health. Now that we're at full health, we should be heading up. Oh! Let's get ourselves some more iron. An actual challenge room. I like the slow but far reaching and devastating attack. Alright, I'm gonna do too many bosses. Right, this is not one I'd like to be swarmed by. So we have a bit of an issue there. But we manage quite easily, in fact. Get myself more iron for upgrades. Beautiful. So yeah, this flash, this shockwave spell is actually worth the while once you have proper dexterity and stuff. It's more than enough damage, it seems. Being an auto crater and all that. Oh my god, and we have Amaterasu's son. How can I resist? Guys, we're a chef. We're broken chef. Just one shine everything around here. Whew. Hammer Bro 2, Electric Boogaloo. This time I have a proper hat. I get to look cool. Alright. And I get to actually get experience from doing this. Like, the problem with the other one is that I maxed out my experience points, so playing the chef and killing enemies doesn't help me scale any way beyond, you know, being a high level chef. 
and gain a lot of gold because I'm really good at it. But this is actually gain all the scale. Convince me. You're very unconvincing. Sorry to tell you that. Gotta work on your people skills. Didn't get one shot. Blasphemy. Get kicked to the face. Two shot. I accept it. end of it and then some all right This is the way in. Okay. There we go. We're heading this way because we know where the entrance to the area I'm heading towards is. Just take a shot in the dark and say I have all equipment upgrades at this point because it's been a while since I've gone one and I definitely have a level where even the starting area can give me something well I didn't realize there's gonna be one directly where the treasure chest start spawns, so I jump out of the way and instead run straight into it. Alright. Play Gravy has a long post for me. Just give me a sec. I gotta make this room a little more comfortable. Alright. Well, I was watching one of your YouTubes and asked what your viewers would like to see or something along those lines. I think you're doing great. Keep switching up the challenges up a bit. Keep talking your way through the game like you do. I wouldn't mind seeing a speedrun timer when you do a speedrun. Oh yeah, so, um, with my live streams, I actually, if, the newest runs, I have been adding the speedrun timer back in. Um, it's just the timer with no splits because the splits, um, are always wrong, basically. Um, you end up having to adapt which, what you do next based on what situation you're in. So making the split, adding the splits was pointless, but I do have a timer now at the top left corner in some of my newer runs when you see those. So, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. That's, like, this is the sort of responses I needed. Thank you very much. It just happened that it's something that I added already because, yeah, it's kind of important. Thank you very much, Played Gravy. Thank you for having the interest and having spending the time to tell me this. I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all right. Oh, cool little trick. So if you ever want to get up here but you don't have Aether Wings, you get up here with just jumps and kicks. Mostly a worker, so you won't hear much from me, but thanks. Yeah, no, no. I understand most people are just kind of doing their own thing. Um, I don't comment much on YouTube myself, so... 
Like, I understand 100%. Um, which is why I appreciate that you took the time out of your day to do this. So, I really do appreciate it. Because I know it's something you don't do normally. Oof. Yep. Sequence break. I like that, because... They restored the fact that you could come here whenever you want, but then they have that little requires either wings little theme, so that um, you can like you can tell other players, hey, don't come here. But if you really want to, shh, there's a secret. And it makes you feel smart. That's one of the things that I disliked about them um, having all the tooltips. It stopped allowing you to just feel smart when beating this game. And like I recognize, um. Like, I recognize that the Echo Kick was hidden for a lot of people. I recognize that needed to be changed. But the way that they just, like, hold your hand. I just didn't appreciate it. Smozio7, how's it going? So have you done... Sp yes, Smozio. Um, Speedrun, I'm wondering if this is, like, a setup to a joke or something. But yes, I am, um... I'm kind of... I think I'm... I'm I would... I would, yeah, I would confidently state I'm the number two speedrunner of this game, so, yes, I do speedruns, I started my day off with one, um, this new patch is extremely hard for speedruns, this new patch is extremely hard, because the new boss has ads, and is just very much an additional daunting challenge beyond what we're used to, but yes, I do do speedruns, um, I'm just playing the chill game, I play, I'm literally, I play this chill game after I finish my speedruns, so... Oof. But yeah, if you ever want to watch those, I should have a bunch of YouTube videos. I've been doing it since November 24th, back when we were on the Far Shores update. So, if that gives you any sort of time or thing you're looking forward to. Um, so that's that's when I started, yes. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to answer questions I can't answer. You know, all of that. I basically... I always treat my streams as if they're asking me anything streams, so if you ever have want to talk about something, just bring it up. I might not always have as much to say about it, like if you ask about a TV series or a game consideration that I don't play. More curiosity than anything else. Yep. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the reason I started speedrunning was literally, um, I just want to spend more time with this game. At the time, Far Shores was all that was there, and I wanted to spend more time with it, and then someone posted. And, like, it was hilarious, because the person's name was Irritable Goldfish, who was like, Hey, I want to get into speedruns, but I need someone to compete against. And so they showed their time. I'm like, I think I can compete with that. So I did. And after I beat their time by, like, like... So they were starting at 3 hours and 40 minutes. I was starting at 4 hours. And so I decided to start running, and he asked me if I could stream so that he could watch. So I did. And then as, I, as my timer went from, you know, 4 hours... To three hours, to two hours, to one hour, until um, at least at the time I had the world record. Um, I don't have it anymore, of course, but I had the world record for a moment on this game, and like for a few moments I've had the world record. Um, Mindful line. Generally, the theme is Mindful line jumped into this scene, and Mindful line does not let other people hold the world record for long before he's like, "All right, my turn." But yeah. How do you like Rogue Legacy 2? Um, you will never run a game that you don't love. So yeah, I've been loving this game. There's a reason I come back and keep playing it. Um, there's a reason I'm at New Game Plus 9. Like, I really do enjoy it. If there's any... Like, it is a game that I would heavily recommend to anyone on the fence. Um, I don't think it's for everyone, but it is, like... If the idea of a roguelike metroidvania is appealing to people, um, definitely. It's, it meets the requirements. Now that they have, they're still working on the metroidvania aspect, I feel, but a lot of it is still. Um, did you play the first game? Yes, I did. So I, before I bought Rogue Legacy 2, I did a little playthrough of Lament of Zors. You could watch it. I really sucked at, um, commentary and stuff then, but, um, yeah, I... 
played through the first game. Um, I've actually, I actually do. It's not that high up, but I do have a speed run of the first game. Hero Dotus is a lot. Hero Dotus is a lot to deal with for that speed run. So, I ended up not enjoying it as much as I should. I, I worry that two ball is going to be that way for a lot of people. So, but you can only hope we're still in beta test. And because the character is tough for speedruns doesn't mean it's a badly designed character or anything of that nature. Hmm. Got all the way to new game plus five. Nice. I think I got to like, yeah, I think I got to like new game plus four before I was like, um, I'm just kind of like repeating the same themes except now it's getting harder. They've added a lot of patches to change it up. Lament of Zors has been added. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really a fan of Lament of Zors as the patch. Like it did everything. Like here, I will say this much about Lament of Zors. You play Lament of Zors because you have new. You want to go to higher new game pluses, and you want to get like difficult in a specific way and scale. Um, you do not play Lament of Zors because it's your first time playing the game. And yes, we're talking about the original Rogue Legacy. In case you're wondering, um, Lament of Zors is a, a mod for the original Rogue Legacy that makes it the world a lot bigger and a lot of stuff like that. Oh, your Rogue Legacy 2 files new game plus 5. Nice. Still still really good. Still really good. It, like, after a certain point, new game pluses are just how much time you have invested into it. More than it is um, a direct show of skill. But, nonetheless, it does take skill to get there in the first place. Yep. It's a great mod, yep. Uh, I did enjoy my time with the Man of Zors, but it was definitely something that I'm like, I'm not interested in going into New Game Plus X f just for this. Just for, like, and this is actually why I really um, in com am concerned about the, I can't believe I fell for that. But I am concerned for the um, Prime fights being locked by New Game Plus X, because I don't think that's... Like, I did not like the bosses being locked behind um, higher New Games in Lament of Zors, so the fact that Rogue Legacy 2 is doing the same theme really concerns me. From half an hour ago, um, we got, I got the spoons. If you saw me when I got the spoons for this character, then you haven't missed much. Um, so I killed one boss, I managed to defeat Namal Prime, and so now we're in the next area, getting ourselves maxed out, getting Enoch ready to go down, all that. Clear it off. Approaching him one mil. Oof. 
Yeah, no, we're a... So you ready? We are a samurai. But we managed to find both the, um... Equipment change? We have both the weapon change and the, um, talent change to make us a chef. So... I am actually considering it, but I think I'd just rather have the shockwave to deal with projectiles. I have enough damage as is. It is a lot of damage, can't deny that. What's your favorite class? Um, so for speedruns, it's Knight, because the Knight just has everything, basically. Um, but for regular play, it's been the Chef with the new Fabled Weapon. Um, the Bag of Spoons is just... I like intelligence-based builds, and the Bag of Spoons just with Spore Burst and the Fire. Um, because just such a devastating weapon. So what will it say once you die or retire? Still Samurai? Yeah, it will still say I'm a Samurai. Um, it declares me as Samurai is the class, even if I made all of the changes to be something else. I'm still, for all theoretical purposes, a Samurai. There it goes. Awesome. Ooh. Don't be stupid. He still gets the Ronin XP. Yep, yeah, exactly. I'm still getting Ronin experience points. How do you pronounce Stofels? So I pronounce Stofels as Stofels. Um, it could be Stoufles or whatever. It could definitely be something completely different, but I pronounce it as Stofels. How long did it take to learn how to um, make use of the spoon? So because I was a speedrunner, and once I realized that if I just, like once my hitbox is super close to the enemy, I can hit people at close range with it, it really, my speedrunning skills transferred over to um, using the spoon very well. Way better than it should have. So, not long for me, but I think if I wasn't speedrunning, it would have taken me much longer. Is basically how I would say it. Because it was, because I need to get close range to enemies already, but like knowing that I could get here, and then I could just melee with a spoon. Like the reason people have problems with a spoon is when they get into close range. I can get into close range without issue. I can do that. And a lot of other people don't have that confidence, don't know the exact spacing like that. So I feel like it was because I speedrun this game because I have to get to that sort of proximity constantly that I think this, that I think I ended up being able to enjoy the spoon as effectively as I do. Like it's plays like that that other people would be afraid to do. But I just do because... Like, I do scarier things every day.
Ooh. I want to say Stalfuls, even though it's spelled like souffle. Ah. Made a stupid mistake. I don't know about what she's matter. And I definitely do not like the boots. Ooh. So one, my one question I have, and it's okay to tell me, there's a soul shop item that says you need 34, or, so do, do I know what it is? Um, I am literally going into these New Game Plus X's to figure it out for myself. Um, there are people in my chat who said they have it, and it's really good, but I have specifically asked them not to tell me. So, no, I do not know. But yeah, the whole reason I'm still playing this new game plus and finding it compelling is because I still have a secret to unfold in that. Ah, uh, all right. Well, it looks like we're probably going to take a death here. Lose our um, res. Just doing a little too poorly here. Steel toe boots are bad. Yep. Yep. Because it's Echo Kick for armor break, and the armor break just, um, breaking off. Tadpole with a quitter attitude. I didn't say I quit. I said I wasn't going to make it, but I made it. I didn't think I would make it, and I did. Quitter attitude. Hmm. I'm wondering if you would consider that a quitter attitude. But yeah. Steel toe boots are unfortunately bad. the wrong button but honestly Enoch's damage is pretty negligible compared to what I expected is Enoch Prime not in it or do I just hate him I just dislike him yeah so I was able to take off some burdens, and I decided I don't want to face the Pride Enoch right now. Probably put him back on for the next life. But, yeah, I just was like, I don't want to be walled off by Enoch Prime right now. I just do this for a chill time, and he just didn't feel chill, to put simply. Oof. So Enoch Prime is the last Prime boss available.
So yeah, if you... I think in my other videos, you can see me beat this boss with the chef myself, so... I feel like for a mini-boss, they should have an exact shadow copy of you with the same health and spells or something similar to the Shadow Link fight. Um... So... We have the Hephaestus Heirloom, the feed that allows us to have multiple souls, or whatever. I'm wondering if somehow we can use that to make a shadow fight. Because it's like, we need a lore reason why we would have a shadow fight. Um... Yeah, maybe... Like, I mean, the last Shadow Fight was Johannes. And apparently a lot of people didn't really like Johannes that much. Which surprises me, but... Also, kind of makes sense. Love the Sun Tower. I love it when it's not being a jerk to me. The Sun Tower is well known to be a way to just ruin speedruns by having a really tall, really unorthodox, hard-to-play Sun Tower. So, when Sun Tower is not being a jerk, the platforming challenges are fun. When it is being a jerk, the platforming challenges are unfair. But yeah, Sun Tower is definitely, like, I'm glad it exists, but when I have a bad day on a speedrun, it does not help. I'm going to pop up to another stream, but I hope you do well in this new Game Plus run. Thank you very much for it, Destiny Bound. The game probably feels different speedrunning. I wouldn't know, I asked about, but not something I would ever do. Yep. Um, it's not for everyone. I do enjoy it. Um, so, with the new house rules, I think there could be a house rules speedrun. And I think people can enjoy that. Because then it's not as intimidating as the regular speedrun. But it still has, you know... The challenge and self-improvement that makes speedruns fun without the without two ball being as horribly absurd as two ball actually is. Ah, uh, didn't kill ya. That that can be rearranged, or that can be fixed. However you want to pronounce it. However you want to phrase it. Uh, like a different speedrun category? Yeah. We already have Lamech percent for people who just want to dip their toes in, but don't want the long, like, hour-long run. So, like, I could definitely see, like, people that want to take their first steps into a long speedrun to what this game has to offer, to just go to house rules, put all the damages and healths, to 50% and just dive on in. Like, I'd be 100% down to support um, people who did that. To, like, put the, like, if I have a decision of who gets on the leaderboard and stuff, I'd make sure they have a spot, of course. Like, I think it'd be a speedrun category that is um, interesting to play. Maybe not as interesting to watch, but it's fine. Alright, so this weapon does have a weakness, as you can see here. Oh well. Oh well. Infinite chasers, and a weapon that cannot deal with more than one chaser at a time. That was the inevitable conclusion. But, it was a fine conclusion.
Vegan and F and D. Versus Austin Ojesis. Alright, well, we're going Austin Ojesis. I think that's just kind of straightforward. Oof. Hey! Alright. I like having this much equip weight. Alright. Yeah. I got the feeling Cook tends to be a go to favorite class for lots of people. It's a good class. Slow, thorough, steady, strong. Like, what does the cook lack? Is basically the question to ask. Uh. But, yeah. Gay was fun. Gay the fact is that the speed run. The fact that the speed run just feels so different. This is a cool way to keep the dynamic of this game going strong. It's the max HP. dead and that's not good. All right. There's a spike ball there. Wanna play around it. All right, one more hit. Playing utmost careful cuz I don't think that surprises Ooh. For what gets, it's a good balance. Yep. Like, they they had to do so much reworking on the, um, on the stew healing. And so what, what I think one of the big things is that they have a trait to make it so that you regain, um, you regain your talents whenever you pick up a potion. And with a chef, that's so much bigger than on others. Well, that's not where I want to spend the death to five. But I'll accept. Alright. But yeah, it's like... It's an unorthodox tank. I think just flat tanking is sometimes unfun because you're just kind of say around making um not really doing much just making sure the others can't really do much in return where this one it's like you're kind of like countering their plays with the uh, chef's um spoon attack and stuff I just realized I have elusive. I can walk straight up into this guy's hitbox and be fine. Ooh. Yeah, the default damage over time is also pretty insane. You're right.
Remember that when I switched one cook to greatsword and saw I still have the do Oh yeah, um, the passive of- I think the pa- I think the chef's passive is just absurd. The chef's passive is absolutely absurd. Like, it is the strongest passive, and it's not even a- it's not even a close, um, game there. Yeah, so it holds you in place once you start hitting, so you can do stuff like that to just try to get yourself directly under, where you hold the punch button, and you just wait for, um, you just wait to attack later. I mean, two aren't even comparable with this. Us, no Jesus. Other classes in a run can get the Sun Relic, but isn't... Yeah, the Sun Relic costs... Fi okay, let me just put it this way. The Sun Relic costs 50 Resolve. Um... There's enough... Like... Versus, like, plus 5% crit chance? Plus 10% crit chance is cost 30 Resolve. Like, compared... The thing's traits to the, um, just a direct, yeah. I just made a direct comparison to the, um, to the knight's passive traits. And it's, like, the knight is worth 15 resolve, and the chef's is worth 50. So it's, like, three to four times as... Yeah, it's like three times as strong as it's supposed to be. And burn does so much, yep. Burn does so much, it's like Barbarian has plus 20% vitality. That is like a specific theme to get. Um, there's a specific way you can get a relic. Like, if you max out a specific. Re well, if you max out. If you get. There's some relics you can only get one of, and if you get a second one, you instead get a theme that gives you plus 20. Like, it's 10% health, strength, and intelligence, I think. And that one. Um. Yeah, it's just, compare all the traits to the chef, and the chef's burn is insane. Plus 20 per vitality, plus 5 strength and dexterity, plus 20 armor. So some of these are kind of okay. The chef, apply burn everywhere. Elusive is pretty cool. Elusive is pretty darn cool. I cannot deny that. But it's just, yeah, as you say, it's not even close. It's not even close. All right. We'll grab some extra gold. Oh, and their weapon comes with a deflect. Yeah, exactly. As I said, it's like a different kind of defensive character. Alright. I'm gonna... Show that I have max in everything before I get the rest. We have max in every rune, people. Oh, 
all that we have left. Let's prove we have max in all of these. Whew. So what set do I not have max out? Gilded. Alright. Gilded is my next, I guess. that another day, I think. But we have all the runes. We have enough for one equip. Alright. So we're going to use this um, ranger to get to the top of the cat tower. Do you have a class that you just dislike? You're looking at it. So I run with um, I run with keyboard without mouse. I've literally changed the control scheme so that I can run with keyboard without mouse. This means when I'm aiming, I only have eight directions. So this character, this ranger that we have. I do not like because everything's based on archery and I basically have to rely on everything that's not archery and so yeah this is my least favorite class that I'm playing right now and yes I would say I dislike it um, I don't I think it's a problem with my control scheme not with the game to be clear like Like, I think the game definitely has a spot in the game. Like, it belongs in the game. I'm happy that's there, but it's not. It's the... I'm glad you're there for everyone else. It's like the Sora reveal um, in Super Smash Bros. The people who love it, I'm so happy for them. It ain't me. Because unless we have these perfectly lined up spots, which we're dealing with right now... I usually find the ranger kind of hard to play, to say the least. All right. Oh my gosh. Guy at FND. Ooh. Thank you very much. Um, I just need a... I can't really look while I'm fighting, but... Oof. Thank you very much, Smezo. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Glad to have you um, following so that I know you're coming back. I do appreciate it. Glad to have you here, by the way. Ah. Uh, Ooh. Ooh! That was not where I wanted to be. Now I definitely don't want to be here. Alright, should I come down? There we are. Thanks. And it helps to think of it as... Um, SM Zeo. Oh, SM Zeo. Okay, got it. 
Right, because you can't you can't add capitalization in your names. Oh, I'm disarmed. I'm like, why am I not shooting? Duh, that's the trait. When I get hit, I don't get to shoot. But hey, we're getting experience. The system is referring to Super Metroid and Sailor Moon. And Zeo was an early well name I used, so SM Zeo was an alternate. Nice. Double meanings with uh, SM. Glad I could still actually deal damage, though. Get up, get out. Alright, wait for the F and D. Or just kill it. Hey, what armor is that? Um and once I explained it, you nailed the name. Glad to know SM Zao. Um What armor am I wearing? I'm wearing the kin set, so I can show you af afterwards. But the kin set has um unity level 20 it gives you plus three life steal 50 it's plus three soul steal and at 100 it gives you this um ancestral soul which is basically a free hyperion's reign but yeah so i have kin helm kin chest kin trinket and then the leviathan cape and leviathan weapon because i like intelligence based stuff and over that so That's the armor I'm using, if that's what you were asking. Because, yeah, my problem with the um, kin set is, like, the kin cape, just to put in per as an example, the kin cape gives you bonus dexterity, not bonus intelligence. Which means if I want to be a spellcaster build, it literally defeats the purpose. do you do with mages so it's not even that I do well it's that I enjoy them so it's like I mean I do better than the it's like I do better than the average player but like that's kind of true with a lot of classes so I'm not sure if that's even comparable but like I enjoy the mages that's all I really care about um, I definitely actually exhaust my mana and a lot of people don't so That's something. All right. So once you, so I've actually maxed out all of my empathies, I think. So it just gives you random empathies sometimes because it's like we have to give an empathy. Which one do we give? And it just kind of realizes it can't give anything, and it just cycles back to heavy weapons and um, ones like that. I think it's literally just random at this point. Um, maybe drown would be better. Doesn't um, runes killing scale with strength? So, life steal rune scales with strength. 
Soul Steel Rune scales with intelligence. So I actually go, that's why um, I chose the Leviathan Cape, because it actually gives me far more intelligence than the Kin Cape. Good question, by the way. All right, there we are. What a perfect spot for an item. Ooh. Oh, that's Super Video Gamer. Um, I just realized that's a different person. You both have the same color on Twitch. How's it going, Super Video Gamer? Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. We're just playing catch. Oh, whoa. You might not be stronger than the estuaries, but you have something they don't. They don't. Another chance. Didn't know you'd be here. And of course, we complete all the story, so. That sounds like suicide in there. That's also suicide. Funny how those two are comparable. Oh my gosh. So my up um, arrow, I've changed to my interact button. So when I press up, sometimes it puts me in doors. I press, I when I aim upwards, I open doors and such. And that was the issue. Usually it doesn't come up, but just did there, so. My control scheme is imperfect. Somewhat intentionally, though. Well, did its job. We're actually getting some good experience with the um with the ranger and the ranger does give you strength buffs so the ranger is a good thing to be gaining um levels in Looks like playing ranger with your controls is impossible. I mean, I will say right now, I have never done narrow praxis. I tried it once, and there was just a point where I could not continue, so, yeah. It's not an inaccurate statement to make. It's wrong because I'm playing it now, but it's not inaccurate. Let's go with that as my explanation of that ending there. Oh, right, I have FND. So every time I get hit, I can't attack or use anything other than movement and kicks for a time being. Is there a reason for not using the mouth? mouse? Comfort. Literally just comfort. It's the same reason I don't use um, a controller. I own a controller. Don't you worry about that. I own, like, a Steam-specific controller. And I use it for different games. Like, I, I use it when I play Dark Souls. Um... But I just don't feel comfortable with that. I, when I'm playing these sort of games, I just like keyboard and I just like keyboard the WASDs. So I go with this control scheme, even though it's generally seen as a negative. It is my comfort and therefore is correct for me. I do not recommend other people to start like. Let me put it this way: if you already use this control scheme, don't let it stop you. If you don't use this control scheme, don't start. <laughs> so. Uh, 
I think personally, eventually maxing out class mastery is good for if anything. Yeah, make the whole exactly. You want to max out class mastery anyways, but like strength is a huge benefit to be gain um, bonuses in, and to be locked out of that because you have trouble with a class. Should I? So, in case you're wondering, this is only the talent. Um, this does not... Um, you cannot... If I re-roll it, it will never give me a weapon. It will always give me another talent. And that is why I took it. If I had a chance of re-rolling a new weapon, I would have gone for it a hundred times. Out of 50. Yeah, that's the barred one. Yep. And what it's going to do is it's going to destroy projectiles. And it's going to um, make little things that I could kick off of for damage. Which was the hope there, but just seemed like things did not pan out as I hoped. Uh Talent is very weird. Yes, the Bard is a very weird class. It's not like the others by a long shot. Ooh. But it's a very powerful talent if you know what you're doing with it. It's just, it takes a while to learn. But yeah, kicking is sometimes... Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. So now that I have... Alright. I now have all... I just realized I have all runes now. So I can start turning all my runes, or all my blood, into ore to get myself weapon upgrades. That's good to note. They have a way to hit you if you're staying on top of them. So I'm surprised they haven't they didn't use it during that whole shenanigans. Victus Brodra, are you playing on arrow keys? Yes, I am using arrow keys plus WASD. I have altered the controls to work with that, so therefore I can only shoot in the eight cardinal directions, which is why the ranger is tough for me, but I'm still managing nonetheless. I'm proud of myself, honestly. Very proud of myself. How's it going, Victus Brada? Brodra? Oof. All right, we're just gonna shoot this guy down. Oof. FND is just a nasty trait. Good coin percent paid out, though. Yep. I definitely like. 
as a ranger, it seems okay because by the time I get hit, I'm already in a bad spot anyways. So I want to get out of it. And it just forces me to, you know, get out of it. Oh my gosh. That's the talent there. That's the talent there. Hold up. Small projectiles. This guy has no chance against this boss here. Zero chance. There is a way I can get a chance, but the way I do it is I have to first um, find a new weapon. Because... Fighting this boss with this weapon and FND, like, it can work, but you actually need to use the platforms. And I don't have platforms anymore. Oof. Oh, yeah. Were, were you just telling a joke? But yeah, no, no, no. Um, I actually use... Oh, the screaming bakes anything? That was actually my first attempt, and it just worked, so... Yep. There... Like, that... All challenges have to be completable, so it's like that plus the Winter Shout are probably the two answers they were looking for. So once you realize that... Ah. Oh well. But anyways, none of the projectiles in that fight are small. Therefore, my new trait is actually really bad for the fight ahead. That's why I'm scouting for another weapon or another improvement. Because this is... Doing this fight right now would be worse than doing the fights with just a ranger normally. So... And you, you see how bad I am with ranger when... Which, honestly, I'm doing... Sometimes I just do alright with Ranger. And I don't know what causes it, other than just I get lucky. But sometimes I just do alright with Ranger. I mean, we've got all the way up the tower with it. So, this has to be one of those times. I mean, we have War Drums. We want to pick something. But I'm scared of Pandora's Trial. We're going with Rage Tincture, because it actually cares about different relics. Well, I could get even more with War Drums. That's not my goal right now. I know a lot of people struggle with Sun Tower boss. Yes. The Sun Tower boss is a bullet hell, so until you learn the patterns, which as a speedrunner I have to learn those patterns, um, it's a very tough boss. As a speedrunner, we get our challenge over with um, Two Ball. Two Ball gets to be our challenge. You burn while I get up there. Oof. Is it the keys? Um, Two Ball has a bunch of ads. Two Ball has a bunch of um, enemies that spawn in while you're still fighting Two Ball. That's... Um, it just makes it very tough. Alright. Grave Bell or Nod Bone? I'm gonna go with Nod Bone. Um, lower resolve can increase max health right now. That sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, Two Ball spawns in a bunch of adds, and when you're at low level, you don't have the damage output to kill those adds easily. And yeah. 
Once you realize why it's tough, you can realize, oh man, that's real tough. You're just barely misaligned with the platform, so we're just going to kick your head in. Hope you don't mind. Okay, both of those are... There we go. Just kill them both like that. Works. I got full health. I just need to find a meat lantern. Alright, gotta be careful, because every time I miss the static blade, I destroy platforms that are my ground. No misses. So feels good. The mirror never did made a difference in that fight for me, but I know the things that trip up casual runs. Speed runs are often different. Yep. Um. You're supposed to take. They literally found the corner where you don't take damage on spikes. There is that corner on every spike path, and like. I have you abused it once. Um, but it's just kind of funny that the enemy used it like that. But yeah, um, whenever it comes to adds, the thing is, like, for most players, they're at a high enough level that they can just dispatch of the adds easily without, like, any care. As a speedrunner, I don't have the damage output to actually um, use against the ads. So, like, they've actually... They actually have to increase the difficulty of that boss because a lot of the casual players have not had any issue at all. But then us speedrunners are like, uh, be careful how you improve it, guys. So... They actually did it really smart. They added armor to the guy, to the enemies. So it's not um, the increased health or damage. It's increased um, amount of hits required. And that hit requirement... Like, if you have enough to one-shot them normally, doesn't matter. Now it takes three shots. If you have enough that it takes five shots to get them normally, now it only takes seven instead of ten. So, I really appreciate it. So they, I do like them adding armor instead of, um, instead of just raw health increases and such. Alright. Oof. As I said, I can't face that boss unless we find a weapon shift change. Great. Oop. Sucks that I found the meat as I took the damage, so I couldn't increase my max health with that, but... Oh well. At least I got back to max health with it. Whew. Alright. If I'm correct, it is always the bottom right. It's always this one. Which is sad. They need to have more... Like, if they add more examples of that one, 
to make it more distinct, then they also just have that come up a lot more often, and they're not sure they want to do that. Antitherica or Ambrosia? Let's go with the lower resolve choice right now. Though I do love Antitherica. I do think that it only increases intelligence based damage. Which now that. Um, it's not intelligence, it's intelligence based damage. Therefore, um, what am I trying to say? my fireball, the burn will not be increased by Antitherica, I'm pretty sure. So, that does hurt it quite significantly. I like the Bargain Realm, because it's a nice one once you've cleared the map. Yep. I'm not looking to clear the map right now. I'm trying to actually get myself to a position where I can beat a boss, but... Yeah, definitely. Agreed. Is gold still needed for you at this point? You have no idea how big that castle is, man. Yes, gold is still needed for me. Um, it's... If you find the archer platform again, would you fight Irad? Probably not. Um, I won't be horribly opposed to it. But I'm probably going to actually... I probably want an actual weapon improvement versus just getting myself back to square one. Ooh. I'm curious about your decision making. So I have um gone pretty far. So there is a spot in Irad's battle where if you make a platform, there are very few attacks Irad has that can actually hit you. So if you get the platform, um, you can actually face Irad as an archer and be okay despite, like, because there's a spot like in the center of the stage, where you can hit Irad. Um, and like still like avoid most of his attacks. Oof. I'm on plus one and it feels like scaling can't be that hard. Yes, but scaling keeps going. Um, it's not that scaling is hard, it's that it just you keep needing more scaling. You it never stops becoming a need. So yes, I still need gold. It's not like I need a huge amount of gold, but I do need gold. Especially if I want to scale what I want to scale instead of whatever it gives me. That was a fantastic fireball. That too. Since when do you ranger when it's the only op good option on the options? So I decided to just try it out. And it's working way better than it has any right to. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> so I changed my straight ability because it helped me getting through to the boss. Against the boss itself, it doesn't help, but on the way going up the tower the new trait helped a lot. Also, every time you pick a trait, um, with a new patch, every time you pick a trait, um, you get a little blessing. So, like, I have this blessing of talent, which just gives me plus 20 resolve. Now, I mentioned it's an additional 7% damage with war drums, so the combination of all of that, picking that trait really increased my damage while, um, not doing anything, like, bad to my 
um, resources, generally. It's just on that boss specifically, it was a bad thing. FND. For that cooldown. I wonder if my amplification runes um, affect FND. That would suck. I meant to do that. Yeah, I, I definitely, like, a lot of the, sh the shouting and getting the kicks in, I meant to do. A lot of the rest, I'm not so sure about. We can say whether I meant to do it on a case-by-case -case basis. Oh my gosh, I went to this side to try to avoid the projectile, and I am just running into it. We shot the arrow up in the air, then knocked the skeleton off the- Oh yeah, that. That was really cool. 100%. Yep, that one was intentional. That was me calculating that if they get knocked back, the arrow in the air protects me. Which, that's actually a theme. The arrow in the air protects me, I do do that um, rationally sometimes. There are times where I do that um, intentionally. Just so you know. Ooh. Oh. A little close for comfort. these guys it will even give me enough health to start gaining with not bone again do you make use of portals at certain spots to save gold or do you dislike the feature um Oh, you were talking about the pizza portals. Yes, yes. I I really enjoy um, the pizza girl. Like, the pizza girl I thought was a cool design. Um, I do, like, that. that is my favorite new character, and their interaction with the world is great. Um, so, yeah, I do like the pizza girl, and I do like the portals. Um, my only thing is, obviously, during speedruns, I can't use them very often, and when I'm playing casually... Um, it's just sometimes it's too expensive when you're good enough to not have to come back. When you're good enough to do everything you need to do in the Kurguang Plateau for this seed. For this um, New Game Plus. Ah. Left too early. Ooh. 
that was a mistake and it hurt. So I have all, um, I have every burden of ruin. So traps deal as much damage as they physically, as they possibly can on my file. So every time I get hit, you'll notice that a huge chunk of my health par just dissipates. Do you know, does her joining you together um, trigger the pizza drops for Hill, or did that come with a patch? Pizza drops have been add were added in the Pizza Monday update, just as a thing you could grab instead of meat. I don't think it has any connection to the pizza girl herself. I would not be surprised if it turned out it did have a connection, but as far as I know, there is no connection between... Um, the pizza girl and the dropping of pizza itself. Also, yeah, she was released long before the, um, Mary the pizza girl was released, um, before, before pizza as a healing item was released, so. They're not tied together. Where else are you streaming? I'm streaming on um, Twitch. If you look at the description on YouTube, um, you can see a connection to the Twitch channel I'm streaming on right now. But it's really just those two right now. I really need to add Facebook gaming to the list, but I just... I have a reason why I left Facebook in the first place, so I'm not exactly inclined to go back until... Like, I could trust that I don't have to spend too much time. Just curiosity. All right. Oof. I wonder. Can I? Alright. That's cool. There we go. Whew. And yeah, I don't need blood anymore, so I'm going to be turning that into um, metal or iron for my equipment upgrades. But good to have, and good to prove that I can still do, I can do them all. You know? Also, maybe it will be useful once the... It should another rune be applied in a future patch. Oh, hey, pizza! Do I actually get to use my Nod Bone? Does Nod Bone work with pizza? It does. That's good. Yeah, Pizza Girl came out in the um, in the Far Shores update, which was very early on, comparatively. Yeah, Pizza Girl was added in in the update directly after Lamech. Like, it was the very first update after... It wasn't in the starting, um, game, like the starting beta, but it was in the very first update once the game was started up. Hmm. I got the game shortly after the Far Shores. Same. Um, there was a sale at that time, so I'm assuming you also purchased it on the sale. Just to make sure if there's any meat. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, that's when you first learned of it. Oh. Yeah, I knew about it um back in August 18th when... Like, it was a game that was on my radar because Rogue Legacy, the original, is what got me into roguelikes. As far as I know, it was the one that brought roguelikes into the scene. Obviously, Rogue itself was the original roguelite, but... Uh, I got it when it wasn't worth it yet. Yep, before the Far Shores update, definitely was not... There wasn't much content. Alright. Faster to teleport to the entrance th through this. Don't want to waste everyone's time. Not all of it. Hmm. It looks like we're clearing out this area, just trying to find that change to my stats. Or, you know, meat to... Alright. There we go. Next one is near there. Alright. That is a big castle. Yes, so I have a burden. I have a burden that increases the size of the castle by 50%. I would love for that burden to be able to go up higher. But right now it only increases by 50%. Uh. Oh yeah, um, there was three to four rooms of the Kerguelen Plateau and... There's the twin Lamech fights at the end there. You're right. Back in the initial um, content update. Oof. Are you aiming for the highest new game plus? Um, I'm just trying to increase right now. Um, yeah, don't spoil anything, please. I'm just playing to have fun mostly. And then there's this... Um, soul shop item that requires a, a a ton of purchases and so I'm also trying to grab that if I can and a windscreen when you beat the final when you beat Lamech yep there was also that windscreen in Far Shores and it really is why I started the speedrunning because I was like I got a C on my first completion of the game I'm like no no we're not I'm not happy with a C, so I kept playing to make sure I could get an A, or, and then I, you know, from that I got from A to S as I was speedrunning, and then I just kept moving on from there. So in case anyone's wondering, the reason I'm not facing um, the boss itself with this trait, there are no pla there are no projectiles in Irad that can be deflect that can be turned into those platforms, because those platforms are very valuable for the ranger. They can use them very well, but you can't get those platforms in that fight. So yeah, the highest New Game Plus used to be New Game Plus 10, but apparently they increased it with this one. From what I've been hearing. Alright. Weapon change. Spell change. I like it. And it gives me another blessing of wisdom which increases all my damages by 7%, and then it also increases my magic by 8. Yep, Spoon Cook's definitely still broken. Good to know, good to know. Yep. They nerfed it, but not enough. Uh... I have an idea.
that second one was misaligned. Oh, because they jumped all the way over here. You stay in the corner there and think about what you've done. You hurt the number one. Ooh. How are spoon cooks good? Um, so chef, they made it so that his trait is um, like everyone has a passive now, and the chef's passive is that their weapons apply burn. The bag of spoons, as a weapon, applies spore burst. Both effects are improved by your intelligence modifier. So you could go, if you're building a high intelligence character, like, you just, the amount of raw damage you do with the spoons is absolutely insane if you go intelligence based. So that's why that's, um, why they're so good. Because it applies two different, um, status effects that both scale with intelligence. So if you have an intelligence build, you just have an insane all the scaling, all the damage output you could ever hope for. Sort of situation. Um, yeah, as for um, two ball being easy, what it is, so he used, so here's actually a theme. Um, they did a patch um, a few days ago. They did a patch um, yesterday, I think. If, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before yesterday. Um, and in the patch, they increased the difficulty of 2-ball. And they're planning to increase it again. Because yes, it was the easiest um, one for where it should be in the game. But that didn't mean it was easy. And it's much harder now than before, because now all the um, spawns have armor. And they're going to do other increases and stuff like that. Alright. And there are relics and runes to increase damage of and dot times. Yep. The thing that makes him easy is that you can't miss him, and he's so slow. I mean, that's all true. If you can destroy all of his um little spawns, as a speed like, keep in mind that they made um getting rid of the spawns much harder with the recent patch. And also, if we're talking about um he's easy, like you can't miss him, and he's so slow. Keep in mind, Irad never moves. And Irad is not... And people have difficulty with Irad. That doesn't exactly decide it. Um, they did note that because he doesn't move, he definitely has a lot less health than they planned for him to have. But... Like, that doesn't necessarily make them easy. It makes it... Like, he dies faster. And... There's also the question of... Yeah, Irad is bullet hell. And, um, two ball, if you don't deal with him, is also bullet hell. But the thing is... If you have all the tr stuff to deal with him, if you have the damage to deal with all the spawns, then Irad looks, then two ball seems like a joke. Um, if you don't, he is another two, he is another Irad. Like he, he is hard if you have the, re if you don't have the resources, which they made it harder to have the resources because they added difficulty, they added more difficulty to, to the fight. So. Yeah, if you were fighting during me playing this run, you're playing the harder version of 2-Ball. So, there's that, first off. Second of all, whether or not the speed at which you can take out the um, spawns also changes how difficult 2-Ball is. People lose their chill and bump into things. Yep. Nope. So this one has the super jump dashes, and this um, challenge, as far as I can tell, is literally impossible with those um, those ones. Yeah, before when the enemies were one-hittable, he was by far the easiest boss, and I believe that. Um, as a speedrunner who's not 
capable of getting the damage to one-hit fiends, he was not the easiest boss. And so anyone who's experienced him on his most difficult knows that the difference of whether or not you could one-hit is actually a difference. Alright. There we go. You also go for the Bard Combo Relic route, and that's the thing, like, you have to go for specific routes to make him work, which are more... At a certain point, you have to wonder if it's an abuse in the system, like... They are trying to make it harder to, um... Face, because there were so many easy ways to beat him, if you know what you're doing, but... That was not... None of these were intentional. Alright. Yes, I don't know what the normal route for this chest is, honestly, because that's always how I've done it. Because anyone's curious how I'm how you're supposed to do that, one, I don't actually know. I just air jump up the downside. Yep. I believe it. Go. Cool. We're at a million gold, guys. Just trying to find our way to make the archer more viable. We got a million gold. And I say the archer isn't viable. With my control scheme, at least. It's easy, you just skip the challenge. <laughs> I still need to find one more piece of meat. While at full health. Make sure to make that clarification. Yeah, I don't even have the full healing. Get rid of the blobfish by any means necessary. Alright. Come on, me. Nope. I'm keeping this spell. There's the meat. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping the spell. The extra wisdom gives me 8% st intelligence damage. But it doesn't actually help with the um, war drum. So. Oof. Alright, hold up. I wish they'd done his skill crits differently. I don't like the waiting. It ruins my playstyle with him, dashing through the sky and clearing rooms without ever touching the ground. If the crit was firing arrow as soon as you pulled the bow, it'd be much more skill-oriented. Hmm. I can see it. Like, no... Yeah, no aim allowed. Just... Fire immediately. It could be overpowered. But then again, like, I am not one to know the power of the ranger. But why not both? Um, the whole question is, what is what becomes too powerful? Um, I don't really know. I don't play ranger often enough to tell you if that would be too powerful. I can. I do play often enough to know I usually just immediately pull once I get there. 
And the only reason I have this delay is to get the crit. Alright. Because, yeah. If you had um, the moment you pull, then it would just. The raw damage might be a little too high. That's my guess. Because, yeah, you could, like, you could just fire so much faster. So, having that. Ranger's awkward enough to, too awkward to be broken. Alright. I mean, it's extra awkward for me, but if, so it always, it's kind of dependent on other players. Oof. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go. I rad time to have this ranger strike you down. <laughs> I don't have a single thing from my ranger. Not a single one of my items um, came from my base ranger. Like, I have one of each of the um, changes. My magic, my talent, and my um, weapon have all been changed. The waiting was... Waiting was rewarded, yep. Oof. Yeah. Oh, there's my class passive. Fair enough. There's also the nice hat. In fact, I am still quite the ranger. Alright. Still a sucky passive for the boss fight that's coming up, but who cares? I am in my element again. I'm on new gameplay 6, mostly play with Archer, and sometimes you deal more damage just pulling and instantly releasing the critting with every hit. Yep. The beam takes out projectiles, yes, that's been a theme for a... Two updates now? Wait, is this a talent? No, this is... This is a new weapon. I have my sword. I'm happy with my sword. And like I had to say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have... I think it's plus 54. Um, damage. From War Drum. And I passed up on a war drum somewhere along the way. Alright. Well. We've been waiting for this. Fifty-six, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't do math in that moment, but that moment is past. We are taking the fanciest fighter, fanciest knight you've ever seen. War Drum gives you 7% per every um, different heirloom. And note the word different heirloom. So you don't just max out on a bunch of small ones that only cost 20 resolve.
Ah. Uh, got to be in my eye. Hopefully it doesn't affect the fight. Do know if I get hit, I will be in danger for some time. So I do have FND. And before anyone asks, no, none of these projectiles turn into roses. Just the chase, just the black chasers. No, okay. Made it. Wow. I just realized how insignificant that damage is compared to what I'm used to. Does it count the kin unity? I'm assuming so, it's down there on the list of relics. I'm assuming kin unity is counted. If you have something in your eye, you can always just pause. Well, it wasn't deep enough in my eye, so I do appreciate the notes, AC. We are not in a speedrun, so you are correct. Uh, well, I got one eye for three. It's a fair trade. Fair trade. Uh, this bus became a lot easier when you know you can cancel your air attack with a spin kick. It is, yep. Also, once you learn all the patterns. Of course. Every boss is easier once you learn the patterns. Oop. All right. All right, it's so much easier when you learn the safe spots. Yep, precisely. All right. Well, we are at. Ooh. Voidus needs an additional attack. It's just not that threatening of a caster for the most threatening area, you know? Alright, here comes the hard part. We have a burden of scale increasing the size of this area. So we have those area, those three down into our right that we have to. Oop. So yeah, because I have all the burns of rune as well, that becomes easier. Uh, have you tried to ball with Boxer at all yet? I think I did once, and I just don't really like how it feels. Um, yep. Of all the commanders, which one makes you question to fight it? Mine is Shredder. Mine is... Um, 
With commanders, it's the protection to other enemies, because sometimes that can get to a, to a situation where the enemies around it make it hard to encroach onto the enemy, and therefore, like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I'm going to take too much damage getting through the wave of mooks to get to the commander. So it's definitely that one. Oof. He's always in the back of the room. Yep. They have actually placed... They actually do place commanders actively near the back of rooms. And they just, like, combined with um, that one. Whenever that's com those two are combined, it's a real issue. So I can't actually um, bounce off of those because the poison means I'm going to take some serious damage. Alright, the poison to disperse. There we are. Whew. So yeah, none of the commander buffs make me think like, oh, there's no way I'm facing this. It's usually the commander buff plus the situation it's in. And it's usually when they're in the back of the room. And either they have a protection for all of those buff all of those in front of it. Or um So it's, they have a protection for all those in front of it. Or they have, um, like, they're spawning chasers while I'm trying to fight them, you know? Those are the two that really stick out as an issue to me. Oof. Um, seems like saying the air attack could be useful, but I still don't have a lot of experience with Boxer yet. Yeah. So what happens is, like, you can find a safe spot, but what happens is you have to let go of that attack to dash, because if you just, um, go into that safe spot and then dash away, if you're holding the attack button still, it will stop your dash to do the punches again, and it ends up, like, not... It's great for Phase 1. Phase 2 becomes a lot tougher with it. Um, and you can just walk through the boss to get out of the corner. Never thought of that. Never thought of that. I haven't played Boxer since the passives. So maybe there's more to it. Um, that I, um, Boxer could end up being better now that we have a passive. You're right. Um, the only thing worse than the armor in the back of the room is a curse commander in the scenery somewhere. Um, yeah. The curse commanders and the um, protect the those nearby are the two toughest for me. Um, armor, I I just play a lot of classes that happen to have multi-hit, so... I'm sure if I'm playing, like, a slower attack class like the Ronin, the armor ends up being a nightmare, but not for me. I finally typed the feed before you say it, and that's the one time... And it's the one time you're not reading chat. Uh, sorry to say that. Sorry, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oof. Well, this ranger has really shown its work that rangers can be good. All you need to do is... <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even equip the sword till later on, so... Alright, so it's below me, but further the right so we're gonna take one of those paths over this way Whew. Still hate walnuts the most. Yep, it's the poison that they leave behind that just turns it into a different kind of fight. Um, wargs are tough, but you've learned how to deal with them in the Kerguelen Plateau. I don't know if it's just like the way that they spawn in this stage or something. 
but they're just not as threatening in this stage as they are in the previous. Oof. That could have ended very badly. It kind of did the second time. I need to go down. Oof. Alright. Plus he has night night level HP. All you did all I have to do to make the ranger good is take away everything that makes on the ranger. Um yeah. I tried the lowest level Ronin for science, but he has less HP than the mage. Yeah, that sounds about right. Probably as much as the Valkyrie, which the fact that it has less than the mage is pretty insane. They can't already be running at you from across the biome, because there's a lot of cliffs in the way. Ah, is that it? Well. Also, I guess this is a much more vertical area compared to the Kerguelen's horizontalness. Alright, hold up. Alright, throw some at me. Ooh. I like how the mushroom platforms will stop whatever projected whatever enemy projectile hits them. Yep. It's a cool dynamic. Um, cause it, like this area has like a lot more interaction with the world as a part of the as part of the area itself. Cause there's also the trap like this is one of the few places where the trap can hit enemies as well with the bombs. And so there's like a lot more rewarding you for being cheeky, for being intelligent with your actions. Yes, that was timed actively. In case anyone was wondering. Really wanted that for in case this went wrong. I don't know. Yep. I think I have to go back to the left. Alright. Alright. Let's get my shout recovered. I like how the mushroom drop. Oh, yeah. Ooh. No. All right, hold up. It's still kill you all. FND is still active. Yep, having a strong kick is great. Bard Kick is strongest kick? Yes. Bard Kick is actively improved by the passive. So, yeah. Bard Kick, strongest kick. 
This isn't like a question. This is defined clearly. That's why I think the Bard is a cool class, but also a difficult one to play. We're gonna just kill all threats in that direction. Or we could just miss them all. That's also an option. Expecting them to be more grounded threats. I was incorrect. So weird to play, but you do it right, and it's insanely powerful. Yep, exactly. Alright, if I can get... If I could just kick off of those. Yep. This deals so much damage. Thank goodness that killed it in time. I'm taking some real damage. Alright, we found one of the keys. It's gonna reduce our resolve below 100, but should only reduce it to... Um, 95, which I can accept when it's plus 7% damage increase. Alright. So I want to get down there. Down into... Not interested in this room. Uh, all right, we're gonna wait for these to deactivate. Getting close to the bomb. Whew. All right, here's the onyx key. That's what I was looking for. All right. So I want to read this. In memory of Estee Emmanuel and his family, to the best cap, to best captain and the best crew, to day justice was served and vengeance was served. Okay, so Mahuel believes that Tubal was the re reason that he was thrown into the abyss and you know died. So that's what's going on. Okay, I'm like, I was confused with that. I just realized my only way back is return to main menu. Yep. We're unlocking both doors. We are unlocking both doors. And we can do it right now. Because of this teleport right here. Alright. This character just surviving way too long. Being way too good for me. Alright. Great. FND. Don't want to deal with that. There we go. That's the key. That's why I've been going for. Alright. So now with this key, we just head back to the top, and we open up that door. And then we have a character. A ranger. 
that has done so much good work. Oof. Now what? I guess we head to the right? But yeah, I, I do want to heal up before I face these guys, so I guess we head to the right, try to get to the um, dragon found. Because if we could find the dragon, then that's everything we need to grab grabbed, and that's an easy teleport back and forth. Oof. That's why I leave all the junk in these rooms. The white one especially has a high chance of dropping meat. Ah. Uh, pretty sure I was in... Yeah, I just came out of a boss fight, so I needed the meat anyways. Not today. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, there's a zombie. Alright, let's get to the other zombie. Well, we're not dead. And we're dealing with a silver shield, so that's a pop that's a positive and a half. So I don't think any room specifically has a higher chance to of dropping meat. Um Fates die or obelisk? I think we go with Obelisk. to approach. There we are. Those guys are evil. Yep. They hit like a hammer barbarian. Yep. Alright, that's like... That's what they're designed to do. Literally use the ability and then just explode before it triggered. Alright. Well, we found him. Now we just need the heals. Oof. Alright, best way to find heals. Go to the areas I haven't visited yet. That are of lower level. It's 
working slowly but surely we are slowly gaining all our health back great you get six meat from the room if you were on full hp Gar oh guaranteed you'd get six meat from the room as long as you were at full hp yep uh A little overkill, but I appreciate it. Here. Hey, full health already. I don't meet recovery scales on int. Um, do you have a decent guess on how far it goes per int? Um, it's for every two point for every one point of int, it gives two points of healing. Well, <laughs> all right. Um, so it really does add up. Yes. Um, as a person who does intelligence builds. Um, like, the, that's part of the intent, that I get a use meat as, like, a full recovery sometimes. There is an item, um, as you get near the end of the game, there is, um, a room in the castle that ties, um, meat recovery to your, um, actual health itself. But it's not, I'm not, I think it's literally just a percentage based thing there. So I'm not sure how much that affects it. Greens from Germany, keep it up. I'm watching. Glad to have you here, Oliver. Glad to have you here. Alright. What enemies are left? Go. So you heal over 1,000 meat per meat if you have over um, 8,000 HP. But when you've got over 6,000 HP, you kind of can't die, um, and life still is plenty. Yep. Alright. So we explored that area now. And I'm back to full health. Let's not dash straight into spikes from the next room over. This room. Right. Continuing the journey. So we're going to start with the pearl key, with the pearl door. So we're going left. Just get out of there. I'm like, I can deal some damage. And then I just, like, math it out, and there's more likelihood I take damage than give it. That was a little close for comfort. It looked like I did it very easily, but that was definitely terrifying.
with a kick. There we are. That's one done. And we did zero damage during it, so that's good. Bart Shout is getting in your head. Whew. Bart Shout's a good one. Let's see if this ranger can get all the way to the end. That'd be amazing. Alright, here comes the tough one. Just so much damage. And yes, I am an intelligence build, but like, just even still, it's so much damage. Get out, get out. We have, remember, we have full heal on two ball, and we haven't used our res. We have not used our res yet. So we use this to teleport. And we now have the two ball boss fight, everyone. Already at two million gold. One fight left. Having FND with this fight is scary. But I think this is a good fight to have both this spell and this trait. And of course, the weapon's amazing. Man, my hands are sweaty. This is the theme with a keyboard. Sweaty hands don't really do much because. Just seeing them die in a single attack. Like, that's just so supernatural to me. Oop. I cleared them off immediately. Yep, as long as you can clear them off immediately. This isn't much of a boss fight. This is a well-known fact. Every boss that spawns in moves.
close enough. Oh, there he is. Yep, I have enough damage. GG's, exactly. I mean, if you look at all my stuff at the bottom, like... Yeah, it's not surprising I had that much damage, but... Still. Isn't it nice of him to throw these heal mobs out for you? <laughs> I never even thought about that! When you have life steal runes, it's basically heal mobs. You're right. Alright. Now do it again? That's the plan. But unfortunately... I have to clear out this castle first, and I am going to probably be closing up after I do that, because we are... We have been playing beyond schedule, in case anyone's wondering. I just did it because this one life lasted far beyond schedule. I'm almost thinking of retiring the hero to make it easy on myself. I hate weeds. Alright, well, I was left behind of damage output. Well, I cut you beam first try of the moment I pop in. Yep, well... Um... That was... That was at New Game Plus 9, not New Game Plus 0, so therefore much easier. Always get so close to that one. Never make it. Yep. Did I not pet the dragon? I definitely talked to it after I went to sleep. I thought I pet the dragon. Maybe I didn't. If I didn't, I apologize profusely. Because obviously, you always pet the dragon. It's like petting the dog. Now you can't continue until New Game Plus 10 until you pet it. Got it. Uh. Runs invalid, timer stop. <laughs> timer stops when you pet the dragon. That would be a good speed run. Pet the dragon percent. Honestly, with how hard two ball is at low levels, that would be a legit tough speed run. Like, it might as well just be any percent with how difficult it will probably be. Well, closing it out one way or another. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus seventy percent damage by um. Seventy. I get plus seventy percent damage from the um. The drums. And then of course. Drums aren't even my main source of damage now. 
can't resist not picking up that knife as Ronin and then proceeding to get one shot. This is a new room for me. Well, would you look at that? Keep in mind, I have a theme so that traps deal more damage, so. That was not surprising the slightest, honestly. And that's my first res. I went all that way, and then I get the death defied. It was always going to be a walnut. Ugh. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. But yeah, I... I found my way around FND. Seems to be fine. At least to me. Alright. This is the room I was planning to die in. It just it seems it was beaten a little slightly. This was always the room I want to die in. Just channel your inner Zors! <laughs> Look, I I am an, almost an hour over my time. Mumuma Omo, thank you so much for following. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you in part of the part of the chat, part of the channel. Happy to have you. Well, keep in mind we were at Ranger rank seven when we started this, and now everything plus ten percent strength. Rank 17. I have to do laundry. Catch you guys later. Yep, I'm not. I'm just literally going to let this close and then I'm going to go raid a channel. So. Yep. Wow. Taken out by the weed. Pretty dank of it. Alright. I'll grab Perfectionist because it's not refilled yet. And because the ranger seems to be able to do that. Alright. There we are. The things I wanted. Five hundred? We have a 250 here, a 250 here. Got it. Buy one more item to unlock this, guys. So three more bosses. Or we can finally do narrow praxis. With nine seconds added to the timer. Buy 2.3 million gold. Definitely should do narrow praxis. Definitely agree. Um, I just I can't do it with my current control scheme. Um, let's really quick equip our runes. We have all the runes we could ever want, or all the rune weight we can pur purposely acquire right now. Let's make sure everything I want maxed out is maxed out. There we are. Plug in your mouse. All right, let's do this. Let's get narrow praxis done. Unfortunately, I have to go behind my computer to get this.
right. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's do it. Narrow Praxis. Just have to get gold with all of my bonuses, so... where I lost it last time. Uh, this one right here. Alright, we're restarting Scar. We're going to get this today. Before I close up. it up, but that's okay. Well, we got a bit of a root. We have the basics of a root. That's definitely bronze. Is that silver? That's just bronze. Okay. We need 300 total. Alright, silver is another 150. So we start here. Uh, mess that up. No! Alright. So I have a theme where it auto drops, and I might have to switch out auto drop while I'm doing this. Ah, come on. As you can tell, I don't have the best control over this. That's why I don't use controller for these sort of games. It's okay. So we get the sense of how that goes. That one was way too far away. So, auto drop is definitely killing me. Yep. Yeah, I have minus nine seconds because I have those empathies. I'm just trying to get this over with, so I don't worry about. That's the gold trophy because of the minus. Okay, cool. And there's the gold trophy. I no longer have to come back. All right. 
Well, we are definitely unplugging this controller, but we now need to buy one more item to unlock and see what this is. I think I'm increasing my infinite knowledge. Near there, it's the Contagious Charm. I don't really need Contagious Charm. I'd rather have infinite knowledge. What is this last thing? Break the limits. Increase the soul shop limits to ludicrous greeds. Thanks for the souls. Now we're strong enough to let you grow however you want. Don't whine if things break. Alright. Exceed mortal limits. Okay, so we could probably just increase Master Smith and all of these to plus infinity and beyond. That's going to be awesome. Cosmic Overload sounds fantastic. I'll see the numbers one at Cubs time. But that's good to know. Alright, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And let's raid someone. Let's raid someone before we go. Just a sec. Let me... It never shows me everyone that's available. Yep. Just Paranoid is doing speedruns right now. Good friend Paranoid doing speedruns. Let's give him the views. Give him what he deserves. Alright. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. See you guys later. Really do appreciate it.